Now, it's often one of the hardest conversations. How do you find the right words to help someone who's at the end of their life or who's recently been bereaved? Well, Plymouth has just been named the first compassionate city in England for its efforts to train people to offer the best possible support. City Council and St Luke's Hospice now want more schools and businesses to get involved in the project. Our reporter Simi Jalosho spoke to one pupil and her teacher about how being signed up as a compassionate school helped her grieve after her mother died. Just over two years ago, Annabelle lost her mother. It proved really tough on the then 13-year-old. Isolating and then also just the shock of it all really came over me. And then sort of over the years, it's kind of spiralled out. My dad was, also didn't know how to approach me, really. He was obviously dealing with his own grief. It's just easier to talk in school. Also, as somebody that, somebody that isn't a close link to you, it can be quite handy. And that's where her teacher came in. It is about um, being able to listen to students, um, empathise with them, to notice um, a, a difference in behaviour and then being proactive and doing something about it. It's teachers like Angie who have helped make Plymouth the first compassionate city in England. The City Council and St Luke's Hospice want more people and businesses to sign up and to get comfortable with talking about death. Hi, um, I'm Annabelle. I lost my mum just over two years ago when I was there. It's a cultural thing. We don't talk about death very much. We often um, have the, you know, the, the stiff upper lip around it. It's not that we don't care, it's that we're frightened of making things worse for that person. Being able to take that time out of my day to talk about my mum when I don't really get to, that's, it's the best way to deal with it. Their message is that caring for those who are dying or experiencing a loss isn't just a job for doctors or chaplains, but a role for the entire community. Simi Jalosho, BBC Spotlight, Plymouth.